General Ryan Pocket 4s. Check to you. They look pretty good. They look pretty darn good. Going to open it up. Makes it pretty big. Makes it like uh, 3.75x or so. We'll just open folds the Queen Jack. Grant with the... King 5. Making a move. 3 betting it. Knows John Ryan probably going to open up a lot of hands. Brant uh, could have John Ryan dominate a lot, and in fact he does in this exact instance there. Effectively flipping. Bildo, two cards in his hand. Going to call with 9-4 yeah. offsuit. We have seen 9-4 offsuit get 4-bet by Will on this stream, so you know what? I say why not? Board coverage. Yep, yeah. And uh, Brant does actually flop middle pair here, range advantage. Actually, he doesn't really have a range advantage on this board, but... That's okay. He likes to continue. Anyways, Bildo going nowhere with 9-9, nine, nine, drawing to exactly a 9. Uh, <laughs> does not get, does not see it on the turn. Brant uh, probably going to check here, and Bildo ramping up the hey, pressure with, it with might work. nothing. And it, uh, yeah, so, Brant's got a hand here. So that it crazy, just might it work. might just work. It might just work. Yeah, that's called floating. Oh, on the flop. that, that uh, it it did not work. And I think um, Brant's actually making a very correct call here. Bildo. Only one way for Bildo to win. Only one way. He's only got one I way. I don't think it's pink chips that are going to do it, Bildo. Oh, I don't think so either. Unless he puts a lot of them out there. I think we need to see a bet of like 7K, maybe. That's what about. For Brant to make this fold. So when Bildo calls the flop and then barrels the turn with a jack peeling off, kind of an odd line to take. And Brant may be able, may be able to sniff this one out. But he does use an insanely value-heavy size here, of just around 6K, a little under two-thirds. Uh, Brant's not looking like he believes in much. He's wondering, he's like, <laughs> shaking his head. He's probably got flashbacks to the King-8 hand right now. And it's just like, what did this guy I mean, flop what, on me? Yeah, you never know. You never, that's what I was saying earlier, why never you know. may not want him in a hand, because he's so hard to put on a hand. He's so hard to hero call. Oh, yeah, you can't, like, you, you, know? you never know what the dude's got. You never know. Some girl just texted me from Vegas wanting $30. Whatever. <laughs> That's why I moved out of Vegas. Oh, yeah. Man, if Brent makes this call, it'd actually be insanely sick. Bildo's just got nine high in a dream at the moment. Oh, I wish we could hear the table talk right now. Brent's probably like, what you got, Bildo? Come on, buddy. What you got? What you got? Oh, and he calls. What a call. Oh, my God. Brent, that's awesome. Alex, big slick, offsuit, red variety. Raise it up to 600. Still playable. Still playable. JD with the ten seven suited lets it go. Peck though suited nine or excuse me suited ace to the nine can't go anywhere. Brant now waking up with a perfect score here. I like Sam. Sam dubbed this hand Sam Clark. You remember Sam Clark? He dubbed this hand perfect score, and I think that's actually a really cool name for it. I like it. Three bets gigantic, which I also love. I think this is great. Alex can't go anywhere. Um. Does elect to make the flat? I, I like the flat call just in position. I think that's good. I don't get it. Perfect score. 10, ten, 10. ten out of ten. Oh, all right. There you go. <laughs> For some reason, I went to like. It, it took me a minute. I, I, I went too. to bowling and all these different sports trying to figure out like what. It meant, but ten out of ten is good. Yeah, yeah. Here we go. Insanely dry board, low cards. Nobody should have a piece of this at all. Brant makes a very comfortable continuation bet. We might even see a float here from Alex. Of course, my charts all go to eleven. Yeah. Go up to 11. I could have made 10 the best and then just altered the charts, but I just made mine go to 11. Here we go. We do see a float one time from Alex. Safe. Very, very safe card for Brant. Um, Alex shouldn't have too much of this board too often, but Brant does elect to check it over to Alex, which may induce a bluff given that Alex has the Ace of Hearts. But uh, I think Alex can go either way here. There we go. And there's the check. Oh, I thought that was a king. I was like, ooh, nasty river card. Um, but uh, Jack on the river. I don't think this really helps anybody, even in terms of like analyzing their range, given the flop um, play. So Brant may elect to once again go for value, and he does. 
Relatively small. Oh, I take it back. He grabbed a lot more plaques than I thought he was going to. Goes ahead and bets. 7.7 thousand here. And Alex with not nothing. Looks like he's even contemplating a call on this river card. It's not likely that the Jack helped Brant, and if you really believe that Brant had nothing at all, maybe some kind of draw here on uh, on the flop. He, he he could conceivably call here. I don't think it's I don't think it's out of the out of the question. I don't think it's crazy. However, Brant unfortunately does have pocket tens. God, look at everybody's stacks now. I know. <laughs> it's just, just insane. Wow. It, so I, it's like I, I've never seven point seven to call. Yeah. I got forty seven k, so I can yeah, afford to see, make this. Call. I can afford to make yeah, it. Yeah, it's yeah. fine. It's and these fine. people, they are playing with their real money too. Yeah. This isn't this isn't no. staged. This isn't no rigged. Exactly. Not at all. If this was rigged, we'd we'd have a lot bigger stacks on here. I think everyone would have five hundred k. Why not? Alex, Alex might make the Kiro call here with the Ace King. Oh my God, he's thinking about it. He's like. What? It doesn't make a lot of sense. A lot of over pairs would still barrel the turn. All their, like, any draw that was available bricked except for exact, exactly 6-7, which Brant wouldn't check on the turn. So Alex kind of has to put Brant on a, one pair, a pocket pair, maybe an 8 here, or absolutely nothing. Absolutely nothing at all. Guys, we're at 1.3k on the viewership. That Boom. is a record for Texas Card House live in Dallas, and we are sitting at 413 likes. That's not enough. If you guys think Alex should make the call, press like for us. If you think Alex should make the fold, go ahead and click like for us. Now you're getting good at those. Is he? Is, is he, he? going to do it? Is he going to make the hero? This is, like, such a hero call. Unfortunately, he's going to be wrong in this instance, but, like, Brant could be doing this with a lot of air here, like, that Alex actually dominates. Um, I actually saw a hand today happen at the tables where Ace King called a bluff from Ace King and chopped it up for like a 2K pot. It was a really big pot. But, oh, man. You don't see that that much. You really don't. It was not. They did it twice. They 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 chopped up. A, oh, wow. Now Alex makes a hero call. Valued himself. Whoops. He says, whoopsie. All right. Sorry. I didn't have pocket tens beat. Oh, man. So I've never watched a lot of that stuff. Um that's why my terminology is sometimes kind of off. Um, wow, is Alex going to raise here with the 7-4? Wow. 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 I love it. <laughs> this game has just gone off the rails. Alex, 3-betting with the 7-4 suited. Peck, though, waking up with 2Ks in his hand. You got to love it. You got to love it so much. I uh, Against these two players... Seeing how wide they can play, I don't think it's crazy for him to just flat call here. And yeah. he does. Yeah, I was wondering I, if he would. It's... I love this flat call. This is so good because you're. this is the well, definition just, of a trap. If he, if he raises, he's getting no value. He's, he's getting none. No, I agree. I they're, absolutely agree. They're both folding like the wind. Yeah, and except, it is. Except maybe Bildo. Except maybe Bildo. It is unfortunate that, he, uh, that he's in the small blind, and maybe that's a lot more of an argument for um, is, wow, Bildo's coming along with what? What does he have? Oh, he's uh, uh, Bildo's got the Jack Eight offsuit okay. coming along, and that's why you flat call because <laughs> maybe Bildo wouldn't have called the wouldn't have called the four with the Jack Eight offsuit. But oh man, absolutely gigantic pot brewing. And now Peck. The great thing about this is that given that three people called, he's got an SPR of like one point two stacked pot ratio. So if he thinks his pair is good at all, which it absolutely is on this yeah, board, that's dreamy dream flop for pocket kings, then he can get it in so comfortably, it, it, it doesn't matter. He just like, doesn't want to check through. No, not at all. But Alex has got a value bet here, given that he three bet. Like, he absolutely has to. This hand is, yeah, he is has, way too He has to bet pretty big, too. He, he does. I think so. He's going to bet probably something like 5K. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. And uh, and that's almost exactly what he decides to do. Looks like 5,200 from my eye, but that could be wrong. And Peck was 16. I think he's only got oh, one he's, option. Oh, he's shipping it. Oh, Alex, 6.7. Huh, I must have not seen a plaque in there. 6.7, but Peck, just I think. Hollywood for just, just a, a minute. Just Austin. a little bit, but this is where you, you, you make your trip. Well, let's see. I guess yeah, I've got to well, go. I guess i got to go all in. All in. Yeah. 
Oh man, he is thinking about it like, what do I, what do I do here? The problem is with this board being so very dry is like, you have no bluffs here. You have zero bluffs here. That's um, you know, it's fine. It, and, and I agree. In, in this exact instance, it's fine. You, <laughs> it's it's you perfectly honestly just fine. want everybody to fold. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you know that many players, too many calls. You're just asking for trouble. For real. Oh man, I and, love. And you can still take down a 20k pot right here. 20 grand going his way. It's going to be even more if he and ships then, it and Alex calls. Yeah, I don't even know if Alex can fold his hand. I, I mean, I, unfortunately, I agree. Given that Alex did flop top pair, it's With like those, he's got back back I mean, to yeah, backdoor hearts. Still 17%. Yeah, Alex is like, oh, crap, what did I run into? <laughs> oh, give me a count, dealer. It's going to be 16.6K to you, buddy. About 10K to him. Yeah, roughly 10K, you're right. But, um, man, th this will be the biggest part of the night, I think. Mm, possibly. Yeah, no, I think so. We haven't seen anybody stack off with more than 25K in their stack. Yeah, they've, they've been about this much. Yeah. A couple, I think, all around 40K or so. I don't even think we've seen Some that. Some of the bigger ones. decision for Alex. With that pair on the board, it weakens his hand, weakens his backdoor draw so much. Oh, so a, much. Even a four is out of the picture and no help. Yeah. But, like I said... Oh, and he does because he made the still, call. He still has to call. Oh, man. And he's just absolutely destroyed here. And, and um, getting, they're like, you run it once, run it twice. four and a half to your money. Seriously. Wow. Oh, he's got runner runner hearts. Oh! 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 oh, that's so gross. Oh. That is so gross. And they're Woo. chopping this pot. Woo. They man. should not be chopping this pot. Oh, man. And if you ask why he's got a call, that's exactly why. That's why, because he knew why. he was going to bink the seven. He just knew. No, it's uh, it's daunting. It's scary. Like, I, I had sweaty palms just with five grand in front of me. For, wow, apparently everybody gets aces, including Chris, wow. who once again only wakes up with premium holdings, apparently. My God. And just right after he raises and wins the last hand. Yeah, he may get less credit for this raise just because. Yeah, just because it's back to back. Yeah, back to back. Hard, you know, hard for. And Peck's like, you know what? I folded this guy once. Okay, he does yeah. make the discipline lay, discipline lay down. Brant is not going to oblige with that, however. Completely dominated. Chris has a four out of five chance to win this hand. Let's see what happens. Wow. Ooh. Wow. Ooh. What a flop. They're practically flipping here, Chris, with a oh, and he likes to check. I love the check. This board smashes Brant's yeah, calling range excellent. as we are put the brakes on. As we are seeing. Exactly, and you really what you really hate to see is even if your opponent is, has got nothing but spades, if you bet onto this board and you get raised, it sucks. It's like the worst. You would much rather check call, which is exactly what he does. No help for Brant there on the turn. Uh, in terms of cards, that's pretty bricky. That's about as brick as it gets other than maybe like a deuce of, deuce of diamonds on the opposite end of the spectrum. But um, it doesn't change the texture of the board really at all. It doesn't help any draws. Pretty much just a a naked king there. Brant, I think, should go for a double barrel I have to here. Say, I could see. I could totally see a bet here. If did he just say all in? No, maybe, maybe. Um, he's got fourteen behind. I doubt it. Yeah, I doubt it. But um, Brant, I would love to see. Did he say all he in? Did. He did say all in. Oh, miserable. Miserable spot for Chris. I don't know though. I don't think he can fold. He's got the ace of spades in his hand. Um, he's got the ace of spades, and whenever Brant uses a sizing like this, you can fit so many bluffs into it, and it still be profitable. So this, I, I don't think he can fold. It's it's a it's a it's a really no, awful spot to be in. I've but been in I, situations like this and made the correct call before yeah i mean if someone really had a straight right here would they be going no that's the, the that that's the other side of it is if somebody is nutted here how often are they shoving like this like it's uh pretty unlikely um unless unless you're playing against really really good players which i mean we have so with De brain i think definitely qualifies Brand could yeah and he could definitely do this with something like a set of sixes but I still don't. I still don't think he would. I think he would still go for one more street of value and then 
set up a nice slight overbed on the on the river instead yeah. of just shipping it now. Oh man, this is that. All that being said, this is a terrible spot to be in, though. Um, with any overpair, like say you had queens here, that'd be awful. Jacks, tens, any of that, anything that Chris can have here. Ace King even is in a pretty miserable spot. Um, all of those hands have relatively the same strength, though, yeah. given this exact action. Yeah, and just the eight nine six just smashes the way he played the hand the whole way through. Oh my gosh! This <laughs> Chris is like, "What are you doing this with, man? What this is nuts." It, it sucks when you have the ace of spades exactly in this spot, just because. Yeah, it, that's that's a hand you want your opponent to have to be bluffing with. Yeah, it takes away. It put it makes you believe he has a made hand. Right. The flush draw. Exactly, but unfortunately, Brant does have two other di very different spades and an open ender. It's about as good as it gets Eric in terms Benson's of draw. A set of eights might do this, maybe. So, yeah, a set of eights or sixes, any second set. I don't think set of nines is going to play this way. You're, you're, you're killing your action too hard unless your opponent is, like, actively aggressing into you. <laughs> Man, what a miserable spot. This really is terrible, but yeah, he does he, call. He, does he correctly call. calls. Good call, Chris. We're going to see a river just one time, it looks like. Let's see it. Let's see it, Mr. Mark. Wow. And uh, no right. help there for Brant on the end. Binks a pair. Does not matter. Uh, Chris shows the aces. Brant says nice hand. And Chris going to make a bit of a comeback. How many times are we going to see Ace King, man? A lot. A, a lot. We've seen it like every like probably sixth hand or so. Oh, no, Leo. He had a very playable hand. Oh, was he off the table for a minute? He was for oh, okay. just a second. However, uh, probably glad that he didn't see it because Alex puts in the cold four in the big blind with two queens. JD, uh, really not like an ace rag here, even if it is suited. But uh, Peck, I think, has a very natural just call. Yeah, you're not um, going to lay ace king down. You're not going to lay ace king down. You could ship it, but stack. the thing is your stack size is so awkward here. You kind of have to go for a five bet. You don't want to call a six bet. And you don't even love when your opponent calls a five bet. So I think um, just a flat in position is the best way to go. See a flop. If he does, it's going all in. I don't think Alex is doing anything but shoving. Oh, no, not at all. Yeah, I but agree. He doesn't, he doesn't know that. But, um, yeah, here we go. Uh, Peck does make the call. I like this the best. This is great. Good poker. No help for ace-king. Pretty dry board, though. Yeah, Queens um, has to love it. Queens loves this board. Um, it would... Yeah, it loves this board. It doesn't have a heart in its hand, so that can yeah, include... Yeah, only, only downside. Um, I don't know. I don't even consider that a downside. I think that's good because it waits. Uh, Peck, he could have a lot of ace-queen with queen of hearts. Ace-queen ace of hearts. He could have a lot more heart draws. King-queen of hearts. I think I'd rather have one Queen-jack of hearts. And Peck, coming along, he says, this board is real dry. Yeah, he's got... He's got He's big slick. It. He's still got outs. He's got five outs. That isn't one of them. That well, is... it gives him more outs, though. Oh, you're right. It does give him wheel outs. True, 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 true. It gives... Well, there's only... Unfortunately, there's only one three left in the deck, um, given that everybody folded them pre. Uh, sucks, but obviously you don't know that. You think, hey, I picked up four more outs. <laughs> With half as many chances to hit them. Alex. I think Alex would just rip it. I think Alex is going to just rip it. I agree. And then Peck is going to be forced to fold. I think Alex could rip it or bet really small. Something like 3k again. Uh, he does check it. He checks it over. Going to let Peck maybe take a stab. Doesn't seem characteristic for the way we've seen Peck play tonight. No, I agree. He, only, probably... made, he only made that one $700 into like 3000 bluff. Let's see, though. He looks like he's getting up to something devious. Oh, it does. Deviously checking. Oh, no! Man. The worst. Wow, the worst. Oh. The single worst card in the deck for Alex's exact like hand. Getting fancy play syndrome, oh, maybe, geez. for Alex. Ouch. I mean, Man. You had, you had the odds on your side, so, I mean... Maybe try to get some value, but that's why I just like playing hard. And, yeah. And betting a little hard. Man, this is really just an awful river card. Any ace-king gets there. Any ace gets there. 
And he, I mean, he knows now that his opponent didn't have the ace high heart draw, um, but any three gets there, any ace, uh, the only thing that Alex beats now is like queen jack, king jack, jack ten, um, and I think only queen jack, maybe, maybe king jack would uh, three bet and then call a four bet, but even then, I don't think so. He beats absolutely nothing on the three. He doesn't even beat pocket jacks. It's taking a while, so I think we're going to see a bet here. Oh, absolutely. We're going to see a bet. Oops. Oops. He says all in. Um, Ooh, miserable. Miserable spot. Uh, Pretty clear-cut fold in my mind, though. It's unfortunate. It it really sucks, but, like, how many bluffs does your opponent have here? Uh, None. Really, none at all. Wow, wow, wow. Yeah, the only thing he could have is, like, a king jack. That's the only hand. That is the only That's hand. That's the only bluff he could have. Yeah, yeah. okay, okay. Jack, Let's let Jack me 10. King Jack with the Jack with the King of Hearts. But even then I don't think King Jack offsuit is calling a four bet or even making a three bet. So That's what I'm saying. Given the pre flop action, the ranges that exist between these two players, like Peck has zero bluffs that I can that I can really think of. Because he hasn't gotten out of line. Oh no, Alex makes that call. Oh, he makes the crying call. Oh, jeez. What a rough night for Alex. Yeah. He has had he has had it pretty, pretty bad. 